What's up? This is Bill Thompson welcoming you to another episode of Bill's World. We're focusing on Blockbuster Video today. The Rise and Fall of a Video Rental Empire. Its Ticket to Glory. Its Fame and Demise. Bear with me here. You gotta pay attention. You might learn something. We gotta go back in time first. Nineteen eighty five Blockbuster Video is born, starting out in Dallas and then expanding nationwide. Yeah, they had a big selection of the newest releases and favorites, even kids' movies, for evening rentals, and 24-hour quick trap returns. That's right, you know, the Dropbox. This is the Blockbuster membership card. It is required if you want to rent some movies from Blockbuster Video. Hence, the Josh Your Cards America gimmick. Your videos and stuff come from these style cases. Some may not be suitable for kids. Hence, the Blockbuster Youth Restricted Viewing. Which means you can't watch it or rent if you're too young. These cases went through many different looks over the years. Local alterations, even some some little insert cards, like Blockbuster Favorites. And even new releases. Yeah, and the back cover also changed too. Well, there's lots of these designs you should know about. Believe me. VHS. And DVD. David released video games for rent in these types of cases. That's right. You know what I'm talking about. Like I said earlier, Blockbuster Video has so much kid stuff. Even so that they even created the Blockbuster Play Pack for kids. You'll never know what you might get inside. Blockbuster Video sold gift certificates and gift cards. Some folks say they invented the gift cards. Gifts you could give out at Christmas. Birthdays, graduations, or whatever celebration. Ranging from $5, $10, $15, $20, and most importantly, the $50 gift card. DirecTV once named their pay-per-view movies brand as Blockbuster Ticket. Here against Netflix, Blockbuster launched Total Access, similar to Netflix with mail-in services. Except you have to go to Blockbuster to return your DVDs. Apparently, Netflix was the one that killed Blockbuster Video. But before we get to that topic, Blockbuster Video also sold previously viewed movies, sometimes in the clamshells or in these style slipcovers. Blockbuster even launched Blockbuster Music, a music store in a similar vein to Blockbuster Video. Earlier, it said that Blockbuster was competing against Netflix. Yet, sadly, Netflix 
was when I'll get Blockbuster Video. With streaming, Blockbuster couldn't even keep up. And of course, that and a few other new rays of rentals caused Blockbuster to fall and go away forever. Its legacy lives on in different ways, like board games. Styled like VHS tapes and covers. There's only one Blockbuster video left operating on this planet. In Bend, Oregon. I'm not going to drive lots of miles to get to Bend to go to Blockbuster. You know something? If you really miss Blockbuster, why not turn certain areas of your house in, into a blockbuster video. And with that, we're out of time. See you next time on Bill's World. Peace out.